at the end of another fabulous day with Mercedes-Benz AMG and Tobias Morris, head of uh, AMG. Well, first of all, thank you very much for having us here. What a fantastic experience and uh, congratulations on the new car. You, you, you are very happy. I can see you in your face. I'm very happy and it's a pleasure for us that you are joining us here today yeah. in Laguna Seca. It's a, I think it's a great day so far. No, absolutely. So this is a very important car. I mean, I don't know if you would consider it like maybe the most important car in the in the history of AMG because of what it means, what like the AMG LS, SLS was, it's a classic car, but this is something different, right? You know, I think so far the SLS was the breakthrough to have our own car and develop and engineer our own car. Um, and we, Honestly, without an SLS, there wouldn't be a GT, yeah. so that's so so far so good but I think the GT is the next era GT GTS the family GT will be the next era it's a different segment so it's yeah. the more traditional sports car segment why we why we do that okay we did the decision to do so because we wanted to prove what the company is, is able to do uh, what are the capabilities at AMG and where is better to show that and to prove that um, than in the traditional sports car segment, which is a very competitive segment. Yeah. So one of the main differences in, in, in terms of sales is that this car is not like a limited edition car. This car is like to it's stay standard, forever, yeah. standard alone car in the, in the lineup, right? What is forever, but um, oh, yeah, I, know, I, know. I know. I hope so, yeah, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a standard life cycle. Yeah. what we intend to do with that car and uh, you know we just showed GT and the GTS you drove the GTS today and uh, there's more to come yeah. Yeah. so uh, can you tell us a little bit of, uh, of the engineering behind it I mean it's like fantastic stuff like a little bit of powertrain and what, what's into this car you know we took some out of the perfect DNAs out of the SLS so uh, we have a front mid engine yeah, so the engine point the engine position is behind the front axle uh, we have a torque tube, we have a transaxle gearbox, so we have an excellent weight distribution. We have 53% uh, uh, of the weight on the rear axle, which provides excellent traction. So we were focused on a very precise car for everyday driving, uh, which provides enough comfort to feel, yeah. to feel comfortable in the car if you drive it every day from, I don't know, home to office or whatever. And if you change... You, you, our EMG control button. No, that's yeah. amazing because it's very easy. And, then, and you uh, feel only like turning it, you, yeah. you start hearing everything. Yeah, you just you just feel okay. You turn the car in a different character, so it's it's moved from a very good, nice, comfortable car to a racetrack animal. And on a racetrack, the car is incredible in terms of handling. It's it's. A lot of traction, it's very precise and easy to drive. It's the most important yeah. thing. Even not a very good driver like me <laughs> did pretty good on the track, so the systems work, that's that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, all aluminum body, so very yep. light too. Yep. Yeah, it's very light, and uh, so, that, uh, that, uh, so we achieved all level what we wanted to be, and uh, so it's part of our design rules and standards at AMG, AMG's engineering driven company. Yeah. Yeah. Part of our design rules and standards to have lightweight design. Yeah, speaking of design, I, it looks stunning. I mean, I'm on the road, standing from behind, from the front, from the side. I mean, like, it's a car that stands out on its own on the, on the street. You know, it's complicated to find the, so the chocolate side of their car because yeah. every side looks pretty good. The yeah. rear, the front, and everything. Yeah. So, um, as you were saying, uh, there's, there's a lot more coming from AMG, but you are doing like really good. I mean, this is a record year for you in sales, right? Yeah, we will have a record year that year. We had a record year, record year last oh, another year. Another one. And, and record year the year before, but this is another record year, yes. And, uh, you know, we had a, the strategy, what we set up in the past, to have our new entrance door into the world of driving performance, into the world of AMG with the, with the, with the A45, with the four-cylinder, high-powered engines, with the small cars. It was a good strategy, and uh, so well-received from the customers. We had a huge demand for 2014 on the markets. We were not able to provide all the cars out of the production, which was the, and, and meet the demands out of the market, which is a so to speak, a positive problem. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yes, but we achieved, we, we increased production capacity now and the sales number in that year will be by far above 40,000 cars. It's, that's amazing and congratulations on that too. So uh, going back a little bit to the car, I mean, obviously there's a lot of engineering and like technology in the car. Is there like one thing that makes you the proudest? I mean, like one thing that was implemented in this car that, that you say, wow, 
this is it's pretty amazing that we can continue. you know yeah it's not one thing it's, it's linked to other things but I'm very proud about the drivability of the car uh, the precision I mean, kind of, if you go back on the throttle it's amazing for a V8 bi turbo it's a yeah. bi turbo engine 510 the horsepower the throttle response in that car is so fast you don't feel it that, that it, that's a turbocharged engine it feels like a natural aspirated yeah. engine and this combination with the car handling and, and, and back on the throttle, the response of the engine, the precision you can drive it on a racetrack at the limit, uh, this, is, this makes me proud. That's great. So, uh, as you were mentioning in your presentation, there's obviously a lot of competition in this yeah. segment. And, uh, but, so, how, how do you feel like with, with this uh, entry in, into the, that competition? You know, honestly, I, I, I'm well known to set high targets. Uh, for all the engineers, for everything what we do, and I'm proud of that what we achieved. So I feel comfortable. That's excellent. Well, thank you very much again for your time. We, uh, I mean, it was a fantastic experience. And uh, as you were saying, from uh, again from uh, whether you you presented us today, there's going to be more coming up, right? Yeah, there's a more lot to more. come. You, you know, we just we just in the in the beginning of the GT <laughs> and GTS. So we, the GT3 race car out of the GT as a race car for the GT3 worldwide yeah, is, is a done deal. So we start with we started development with that, and uh, there's more to come. Yeah. It oh. will be interesting in the near future. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much again, and congratulations. You what? Thank, thank you. Very much. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.